What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. You two can be great. This is the Merch Medicine, I believe, season seven finale, right before the reunion review. Child, this, uh, I'm sorry, this, this finale is the best episode they have had the entire season because the entire season, this season, was not as good as last season because we had the whole quad and her husband divorcing situation going on. We didn't have the season where we got Toya and and her um her husband Cecil going through a divorce. We didn't have another situation where Jack and Curtis had an infidelity situation. So this season was by far, I think, the slowest that has been in seven seasons, even with Buffy being a part of it, even with contested situation with her husband. But this finale was off the hook because here we, it starts off with Toya planning another bougetto yet enthusiastic arabian nights themed party where her husband show people off the house that she has worked so hard to plan for now i know i always say uh, toya spends too much money she does the absolute most however when you got it like that you have the money to spend it is good to want something want this dream house for you and your family where you're gonna settle and then decide to have people come over and check it out because it's important to y'all work hard for it so the house is gorgeous i'm not even gonna dock the outside looks beautiful like the setting the pool the lights Everything was gorgeous from the inside to the high ceilings, the stairs, to her closet. It's, it gives me life. Toya did a good job designing that home. I hope that they're able to stay in it and they don't have any more financial situation because it is a beautiful house. So she's planning this party. You got Contessa preparing for it. Contessa made sure to let us know that, you know, her and her husband are still kind of trying to mend things. But she's going to end up going back to school because now he admitted that he sabotaged her ass because he didn't want her. He didn't want to do it by himself. And he felt like he couldn't last one year for her to go to school. I get their communication was bad. And I get that he wants her to be at home because they have three little kids at home. At the same time, he's approaching, trying to articulate his concern, having to be a single parent at home. And they need help. And he needed help was just wrong. That part is clear. Then you got Quad coming to the party as well. You got Toya and Cecil planning. Jackie is back on her bullshit ass behavior of getting a million things going on in her life and forgetting the fact that she's married. And her confessional, she's saying dumb ass shit like he knew I was busy when he married me. Bitch, this man didn't cheat on your ass because you neglected him because you had all these different projects going along. You got the book, you got your doc. Being a doctor itself is also a difficult schedule. You have a 40 hour schedule. You got all this shit going on and you're using the excuses because you don't have a child, but you chose to get married and the man is telling you that you're not giving him the attention he needs and i feel like this man's gonna cheat on her ass again because i've since learned from this fucking episode i'm about to cuss her ass out that she does not know how to take responsibility when she does something wrong she always she put herself on a freaking pedestal and she's a fucking martyr she can't apologize appropriately now let's fast forward to where everybody gets to the party it's theme everybody's dressed i mean it was supposed to be arabian nights but it all looked like they're more indians than anything they come to this party we know the last episode even though i didn't review it mariah had an issue with contessa because she brought lake to the to the to some gathering that we're having and y'all know that lake had uh mariah had accused quad of fucking lake's husband even though they're divorced that was an odd subject that she wanted a dead last reunion, um, last season's reunion. So for her to be sitting there with this little dark cloud in the air, Mariah brought her into that situation because she wanted to kind of make Quad uncomfortable. At the same time, Quad should learn to defend herself and speak up. But I feel like Quad doesn't want to give her any energy. Whether she fucked Lake's husband or not, I don't know. I wouldn't dare to see it. But do I feel like she did that? I don't think she did, to be honest with you. And you might not agree with me. I don't think Quad had sex with Lake's husband. Let me tell you why. Because Mariah and Quad were best friends for a number of years. If Mariah really felt in her heart of hearts that Quad slept with her sister's ex-husband, now ex-husband, she would not be friends with her because her loyalty would be to her own blood. So I don't think that she really felt like Quad slept with her friend. I think that she may have heard that from Lake and her and Lake had an issue and she fought Lake and they fought and everything like that. But in her heart, she didn't feel like it was true. So she chose to be friends with her not that you're not friends you bring that shit up i don't believe it happened at the same time do i feel like mariah is over here being a drug addict and storing coke and shit hell no i understand that people can party in their old age so people talk about people smoking weed doing lean when they were young in that party scene yes but do i feel like mariah is a freaking cokehead no i don't but the party begins everybody's there you know enjoying themselves and i'm just gonna highlight what happened that i felt was significant enough for y'all to know in this damn review that's going to be very short and sweet and straight to the point because toya came to the party with buffy and her husband in the car in the car they discussed again the infertility situation that jackie had brought up in that party where she embarrassed her i don't think jackie had malicious intent when she said it jackie is just insensitive and doesn't and it's 
it's funny to me because Heavenly says that she's the smartest one out of this group. Jackie, the way that she carries herself is almost like she's the smartest one out of the group and she's the most valued and she's the one that everybody looks to for advice and to fix things. But in this particular situation, I don't know if I should beat over the head with a common sense book because she's not getting it. When they get to the party, Toya goes up to Jackie and explains to her that but what she did with Buffy was really affecting Buffy. And Jackie's response is to say, I don't know how many times I need to apologize. So bitch, you need to keep apologizing until it becomes sincere. Because you keep apologizing, but the way that you apologize is the form of, I apologize, done with it. That was a horrible apology. Then they flash back to the second time you apologized to her, and it comes in the form of, you know, I took your struggle and made it my own. Bitch, I did not ask you to take my struggle and make it your own. You and I have a problem where we want to have children, yes. But our circumstances are complete, completely different. Jackie had cancer. And when you have cancer and you go through chemotherapy, it affects your ability to have children because Brandy from Basketball Wives went through the same thing and also knew that she can never have kids and she wanted a kid of her own. What are more kids outside of the one that she had? So that's a, that's a problem that they both have and that's an issue they both have. However, Buffy did not have cancer. Even though it runs in her family, she didn't have it. She just can have a baby. And I know that there are several situations where women would try IVF. They'll try everything in the world, surrogacy, considering using their eggs, using somebody's eggs, paying them all these thousands and thousands of dollars and wondering why on earth they, they have all this money in the world and can't have a family of their own. Jackie, you need to understand something. How you choose to deal with your pain, bitch, is how you choose to deal with your pain. You went in front of a crowd of people that woman has never met before, don't even know. She is a guest at your party. You announced her personal business out there that was not your business to tell. And then when you gave her an apology, you gave her a fucked up ass apology. Now, I've waited two shows, two episodes, and at first, I gave Jackie the benefit of the doubt. I wanted to see if she will have time to repent, but her ass still don't get it. Or either way, she gets it, but she's being passive aggressive and she don't want to humble herself and really take the fall for the shit that she did. Now, she's come comparing her situation talking about I keep I'm an apology to her I keep having to apologize to people it is different her apology that she gave to Mariah it's different because Mariah told um Jackie earlier in the season when the mar marriage medicine first started that she, Mariah um Jackie couldn't fathom what it was like to really be a mother and Jackie took that personally because it was a pain that she's still trying to get over and for some time she Threw jabs at Mariah. She threw little snide comments. She was reading Mariah. I mean, she, Jackie throws shade and she throws shade, you know, really underhandedly. And for a while, it was clear that she had, she did not feel it for Mariah. So ex apologizing to Mariah for that is very different than you apologizing for, to Buffy for something that she did not ask for. And it seems like Buffy is not back in therapy because it seems like that situation opened up old wounds for her. Now, I know Buffy is very dramatic and she does the most and she's very sensitive. And she, you know, at first I thought she was a little bit into, too full of herself because she said, you know, my family and people can be jealous of me for what I have. I wasn't feeling it for, Jack, for Buffy in the beginning because she said that shit. However, as it pertains to this situation, Jack, you were wrong as a motherfucker. You are. And you need to stop acting the way that you acted because you still don't get it. When... Toya, uh, when um, Samoa went up to her and said, you need to kind of, let me go get Buffy. You need to kind of, you know, apologize to her. She said, do I need to apologize again? My friend of 20 years, I don't know why she doesn't know me. Da, 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 da. This is not about you, bitch. It's not about you. It's about the girl that you offended. Who did not ask for you to offend her? But she says, we'll get Buffy to apologize again. And she's apologizing to Buffy. Buffy is breaking down because this is something that is a sore spot for her. This is something that she still hasn't gotten over. Something she's still dealing with. You opened up a wound and you keep saying, I, you know, I apologize. I didn't mean to make my pain your, you know, my pain your own. Stop putting yourself in the apology. Stop saying that shit. Stop it. Just say that you, you talk too much. It's simple. I'm sorry I talked too much and I should not have disclosed that information to people because you did not know those people in the room. And then if you need to keep apologizing until you heal, then do so. Get over yourself. This is not some minor situation, but she goes up to her husband, Curtis, like, I had to apologize to her again. Like, uh, I get that Curtis is being a supportive husband, but please tell this bitch that she's wrong. Tell her she's wrong because Buffy starts breaking down and she tries to leave the party because she's embarrassed. Now, here's the mistake Toya ass made. Toya should have let her ass leave the party. She wanted to leave because she didn't want to be crying. Toya should have let her ass leave the party. Instead, Toya decided to use her closet as bait, saying that if you come to my closet, you feel better. Hell, I was going to feel better in that damn closet. It's big and it's nice and I could sleep there and sleep with my husband in there. It's a lot of space. It's two stories. I would feel great in that damn closet. But Buffy is not feeling it. She's emotional right now. She's too emotional. Her husband is coming to see her. She's breaking down because this is something that's really bothering her. And Contessa's annoying little ass. 
Oh, Contessa is getting on my damn nerves. She goes in there to supposedly find out what's going on with Buffy, but she escalates the situation to something unfathomable. And it's almost like instead of consoling Buffy, she's attacking her. And Buffy's saying, you act like my pain don't matter. Contessa's like, I didn't say that, but if that's how you want to take it, it is just not the right time for Contessa's ass to be like this. It's not the right time for her to be like this. But Mariah gets in the situation and takes takes it upon herself this time to get Contessa back for inserting herself in her and Lake and quad circumstances, quad situation. Contessa tells Mariah that Mariah is just behaving the way that she's behaving because quad is not giving her any energy and she feels like this is why she's acting out. Mariah decides to take it up the notch and they start arguing. Contessa flips her hair and says, you know what? You, you know, talk to my hair. Or she says something like that. And freaking Mariah's read is like, I ride horses, bitch. I don't wear them. Basically insinuating that Contessa's hair is fake as motherfucker. And that was a good ass read. Mariah in her mouth, she can cut you with her words. If anything, she will cut your ass to down to the white meat with her words. She's very good at puns like Kenya, like Jackie. All of them throw shade to each other. Heavily throw shade. Every throw shade. But Mariah's reads, oh my God. Mariah's good at that. That's for damn sure. But Contessa and her get into a fight, argument, they leave. Toya is sitting here witnessing this whole thing. And I feel like Toya's mistake was letting her stay. I don't think that that situation would have gone as far as it did had Toya just let her ass go home and she did not. But this finale is going to take his, make his way into the reunion because I feel like what Jackie said in the confessional about Simone not knowing her for 20 years and expecting her to apologize and stuff like that. Simone is going to see her friend in a new light. She's going to start seeing Jackie in a fucking new light. She's going to see that Jackie really is feeling herself. Jackie feels like she's above it all. Jackie feels like she does not have to humble herself and really apologize when she needs to because she don't feel like she do anything wrong. And Dr. Heavenly, envious of her, being too envious of her because Dr. Heavenly would like to be considered in the caliber that Jackie puts herself on, is now going above and beyond to defend Jackie as if she's Jackie's mouthpiece. Jackie has made it clear that she knows how to run her mouth and she can run it in the wrong direction. So now she needs to run it in the right direction and she needs to mend her relationship with Simone. But this entire situation is just, it's gonna be a mess. Quad and, uh, you know, brought, bring up the situation with her and Mariah, they're never gonna dead it. They had a long history and there's a lot of bad blood. It's just never gonna end. But I can't wait till the reunion gets here because I did a whole breakdown, if you watch my other video, of what I anticipate is gonna happen based on what I saw. And Jackie's gonna really sh is, is showing her slip like Mariah said, except he's gonna sh is showing it to the point where I'm starting to like that bitch. Okay, I'm about to, I'm calling her a bitch for goodness sake. I mean, I used to like her and her behavior. Now I think she's a complete asshole. Anyway, please like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. I'm gonna do a review on Love and Hip Hop Holly um, New York and also Love and Hip Hop Hollywood reunion. Hope you guys catch it. I hope you guys enjoy it because I also be talking shit about what the fuck happened with those little episodes too as well. Thank you. Love you. Bye bye. Bye.